you know, sitting outside like this, close to the poolside and basking in the sun is top tier. Let us do this once a week. I beg to disagree, Obama. Jill didn't let me leave the house today. I'm here because I snuck out. She thinks she needs to protect me from whatever. Let us move that to once a month. Hey, Joe, did you see this comment from user QD9.WE5MD50? They want a shout out. Yeah, I saw that. It's always great to hear from our supporters. Thanks for the love, user QD9WE5MD50. Keep staying motivated. We appreciate you being part of the POTUS gang. Absolutely, shout out to you. And remember folks, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more videos. We've got some exciting content coming your way. That's right, folks. And to all our viewers, happy watching. Your support means everything to us. That poor woman was trying to protect you. It bothers me when you don't listen. Well, I wouldn't be here if I didn't get that message from Tony. We plan to have fun together, but a president never gets his rest. What could go wrong today? He probably called us to do something fun or thank us for the last mission we had done together. I mean, the day is too bright for anything to disrupt it. Obama, you must be delusional to think that Iron Man would call us for anything other than saving the country. I received his message and said to myself, oh shit, the world is crumbling again. America is in trouble. Let's hope for the best, Trump. You don't always have to be a narcissist. Hope doesn't make good leaders. That's why you're so terrible at your job. As Americans, we should always prepare for whatever is to come for us. A little spread of positivity and peace doesn't make me any less of an American Trump. I didn't expect to hear that from a war apologist. What would you have us do then? Go about spreading panic all over the city? We aren't even sure why he called us. So take a chill pill and stop being a hot air balloon. Hey, metal man, thank goodness you're here already. We were talking about you. This whole thing is for an ice cream party, right? Tell me, I won't be disappointed. Are your brain cells wholly lost? What the fuck is Metal Man? Uh, Uranium Man, guys? I don't remember. I'll say it slowly for you, Iron Man. Iron Man. Iron Man, you idiot. Jeez, that wasn't slow. POTUS gang, it's great to meet you, but I don't think it's a great day. I already knew this before. I tried to tell them, but trust these dumbheads not to listen. I'll fill you in on our visitor once we get there. Time is the last thing we have on our side right now. All right, Metal Man, see you later. We just corrected you a few seconds earlier. Do you think it's cool to make such a gaffe before him? That wasn't very pleasant. What would he think of us now? Symptoms of dementia. One, memory loss. Two, struggling to follow a conversation. Three, difficulty concentrating. But trust me, this isn't something a few slaps can't correct. This can't be happening now. I think what he needs is a pillow and Jill, of course. America is a shithole. The U.S. Wow, it took dementia, not even alcohol, to reveal what you've always had in mind about this beloved nation. A big kudos to that sickness. I'll remind you when you get back to your senses. What in the world is this? Who is this giant ass motherfucker? I feel like I'm in a Transformers movie right now. Tony, who the freak is our gigantic visitor? I'm glad you asked, Mr. Donald. We must understand what we're dealing with. That's Galactus, one of the world's greatest villains. World's greatest villains? It sounds like you're just giving him some good PR, Tony. How great is he? A little growth hormone doesn't make greatness in my books. Wow, that's a giant watermelon. All right, all right, I've had enough of this. Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. Fucking snap out of it, you dunderhead. I almost started looking for a giant melon before I remembered that we are dealing with a crazy man. Ouch, who fucking hit my head? What was that? Finally, welcome back, Mr. President. That took quite a long... What are you talking about, Obama? Where are we? And holy shit, what in the name of the great Zeus is that? You honestly don't remember how we got here, Sleepy Joe? Let me do the honors of explaining, sir. You and I heatedly argued about the best flavor of ice cream. The good old vanilla, you called it. Vanilla can't be the best flavor out there. We had an ice cream licking contest. I only took a few scoops, but in your quest to put vanilla above all, you took an entire gallon. Guess what? You passed out. You stood between life and death. The ice cream Lucifer tried to drag your soul to hell because of your terrible choice of flavor. But the ice cream God had to plead on your behalf. As you can see, that's why you are still alive. Well, nothing is changing my opinion on that. The vanilla flavor remains the best there is, there was, and there will ever be. Wait a minute, how did you know the decision the ice cream Lucifer and God took? Where are you in that realm with me? Ha 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 ha. Don't tell me you believe that nonsense. Anyway, the story sounded quite convincing. I've said this in a couple of interviews, Joe Biden doesn't know he's alive. Wait, there was no ice cream licking contest, no passing out, and no ice cream Lucifer and God? F you, Donald Trump. Idiot, your stupid dementia was hindering our progress. Someone had to step in. Is this the motherfucking thanks I get? Well, Oompa Loompa, I don't think I want to reply that right. Tony, could you speak to me? What is this thing? Oh, f I forgot we were having a conversation. I'm sorry about this stupid childish attitude of my silly friend, Tony. 
That's not a problem. We are already on the case. Multitasking is always allowed. Of course, multitasking is allowed. The Avengers can't even stand a boring war. What's a fight without small talks here and there? As I said before, Galactus is one of the greatest villains. I mean, many badass villains can threaten the Earth, the galaxy, or the universe at large. Galactus is one of those top ones. He is a survivor of the sixth cosmos. Six Cosmos? That sounds like a movie title. What the f*** is that? That's the previous universe, Mr. President. He consumes life energy found on planets for survival. Wait, this motherfucker flies from his cosmetic whatever, lands on Earth, and just feeds on lives to sustain him? Now I'm super pissed. My question is, why did he choose planet Earth or all planets to seek life energy? What happened to Mercury or Pluto? Uh, Mr. President, there is no life energy on those planets you mentioned. Planet Earth is where he can find sustenance. You must be astonished by his dull-witted self. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. This is what I have to deal with every day of my life. I thought Pluto was no longer a planet. It's now considered a dwarf planet because it is not big enough to exert its orbital dominance. Oh, Tony, let's leave all that science jargon aside. My question is, why did he have to come to America? Why didn't he go to Africa? What the hell? What do you mean by that, Trump? Are Africans the ones deserving of this calamity? Anyway, not surprised one bit. This is what a typical racist would say. I didn't say that, but he should have gone there. This shows he has something against Americans. I don't know why all the stupid, lame-ass villains always pick America to be their first attack region. Maybe because America is the best country in the whole wide world. A country that holds the world's power? I don't see the reason why it won't always have attackers. Hey, Mr. Galaxy, I won't let you destroy my beloved country. You better f off while I'm still being friendly. His name isn't Galaxy, you dunce, it's Galactus. You always claim to be the smarter one, yet you don't know shit. Well, I'm gonna let that slide simply because I wanna focus on this thing in front of me. Is that an ice cream truck? Oh, my pretty ice cream. Make sure you don't destroy it or have me to contend with. Galactus is a respecter of no ice cream fan or truck. He destroyed it already. This is the reason foreigners aren't allowed to get into the country any way they like. All because of the ice cream truck? I doubt that, Sleepy Joe. He's behaving like a preschooler. Grow the hell up. You're a leader, for God's sake. Christ! My feeling is valid. How would you feel if a couple of aliens came into the country and destroyed everything relating to McDonald's or Coke? What? First, that can never happen, but if it does, I promise, the devil will have to make way for me in hell because I'll do worse than he has ever done. I don't think food should be the reason you want that evil dude's position. I don't fucking care. They better not mess with McDonald's. That's all I'm saying. Uh, guys, I have a question. When is this guy going to die? Because right now I honestly cannot feel my eyes. My head is spinning. All I can see are stars. You better hold your head straight. I don't want what happened before to repeat itself. What happened before? Oh shit, not again. Joe, this is not the time. I don't know how Jill copes with him. He's a heavy burden, not just to her, but to us and Americans at large. I say we get rid of him. If anything happens to him, they are coming for you because of these words, right? The walls have ears. Technically, we're in a desert. Just say the dry sands have ears. That's better. Plus, I wasn't talking about killing him. Just get him off that seat. Joe is already on his way to the grave. That won't be my doing. I only just asked a simple question because I couldn't remember shit, but you fools are already planning to murder. I hope the viewers can see this. I'm pretty sure the viewers are tired of you and your sickness already. So Joey, just shut up and don't fall into the dementia phase. At least for now. The last time was a disaster. He was seeing a giant watermelon. I wonder what he'll see this time. Uh, guys, I don't know where I am, and a giant-ass snake is staring at me as I speak right Ah! Why don't you kill it and get the hell out of there? I'm trying to get people around here to safety. Didn't you hear me correctly? I said giant-ass snake like the anaconda type. How the hell am I supposed to kill it when I'm just an old peaceful president, huh? How dare you call yourself peaceful? Are you intentionally trying to be obtuse? Wait, did you guys leave me here to fight this off alone? It's called division of labor, Trump. I'm busy here. The only person that's not busy is Joe Biden. This guy is screwing me up. It's almost like nothing I do gets to him. I need help ASAP. I would have loved to help, but I'm dealing with an anaconda. You don't sound like you're dealing with anything. You say perfectly okay to me. Snake, snake, ah, ah. If I find out that you're pulling any stupid stunt, I'll make sure to put you back in your dementia state and leave you there. You're the high and mighty Trump. Why don't you deal with your Galactus guy and leave me the fuck alone? I thought I didn't mean anything. Plus, you foresaw that there would be a problem today. Deal with it. Now it's apparent that you are not dealing with snakes. You're a crook, Joe Biden. A fucking crook. That bald-headed looking monkey thought he could boss me around. Well, bitch, I just showed you what I'm made of. Freaking moron. What you're made of? Do you mean running away like the grotesque coward that you are? Oh, I'm not surprised. You're a fucking yellow belly. Get the hell out. 
beg and I'll help. Put your pride aside and beg me to help Donald Trump. It won't kill you. I'd rather let this monster choke me to death than beg. In the end, I pity the American people for choosing an inconsiderate dumbass to rule them. Well, they have a chance to choose again. I hope they don't make any mistakes. Americans know how much I love them. Please stop trying to taint my name, Hippopotamus. Leave them out of this. You're somewhere far away from the war zone, and you're saying that? Just shut up already. Gamblings with their lives? That's not what a real leader would do. I think I should be the first person to tell you that since you have no genuine folk in your life, Sleepy Joe. How are you holding up there, Trumpy? These flames won't put themselves out, and I can't leave these folks stranded. This mother is on the verge of burning the living daylights out of me. Tony didn't mention this part about him. He did mention something about Galactus seeking life energy. So I suppose he's trying to cook me like meat, because what the fuck is this blue and yellow fire he's trying to burn me with? I can barely catch my breath. Keep trying. I'm pretty sure he'll get tired soon. This folk doesn't look like he has a weak point. He looks like he's waited for this day for years, like I got a personal beef with him or something. I promise it's not personal. Shit, even my laser eyes aren't working. Where am I? Oh no, not this clown again. At this point, I think you're faking it. I think we should ignore the animal. When he's done being a clown, he'll take off his mask. Who are you guys and where are you? Okay, maybe the thing has hit him again. We are your conscience, Joey, the good and bad ones. We direct your path in life. We are in your head. Ask any questions and we'll answer them. Ah, what are you doing in my head? Consider us your guardian angel. Trust us. We're here to keep you safe always. Yes, I think I killed him. You have to give me my flowers. Nobody else can pull this off other than me. I knew you could do it. Way to go. Well done, Trumpy. Killed who? What are you guys talking about? Who did you kill in my head? Did you ask for permission? Well, we didn't need permission. That fellow was such a nuisance. You don't have to worry. I don't think I can deal with this shit anymore. You better wake the f up, Joe. This is no joke. You did absolutely nothing today. There was no need to call you. Can you stop yelling already? I was only trying to have fun. Wait a minute. You just faked all that? Yep. Even the last time, too? What the heck? I honestly don't remember that. I just wanted to piss Trump off. Seriously, your entire existence.